This is a two-minute travel guide to Vorarlberg, Austria, pretty much the least known region of Austria, but the one with the highest percentage of returning visitors, and you'll see why. Vorarlberg is in the Austrian Alps, and the first thing you can do here is take amazing road trips. No matter where you drive around Vorarlberg, it's sure to be beautiful because it's mountainous, green, and incredible. Well, white in the winter. The second thing you can do is go climbing. I mean, we are in the Alps after all, and there's some of the most incredible mountain climbing and via ferratas here. Via ferratas are when you climb something while attached to a wire, which is what we did here. You can do via ferratas on the mountain, but we did one on a dam. It was pretty scary, but it was very exhausting. Exhilarating. Let me know what you think. The next thing to do in Vorarlberg is have delicious and scenic food and drinks. Now, this region is full of locally produced beer and wine and local dishes like the schnitzel, and it's hilly and mountainous. So more often than not, you'll find yourself eating with an amazing view. This is a local Montefon cheese called Syracuse, and here it is in three different ways. But you don't always need to have food with a view. Vorarlberg is full of amazing restaurants with very talented chefs cooking up local products in creative ways. And you, of course, have to try the local Kaschespatzla, I probably butchered that, and the Austrian desserts. Next is hiking. Hiking is the bane of Vorarlberg's existence, and there are millions, maybe not millions, but dozens of amazing hiking trails around alpine lakes, up mountains, across glaciers, and more. There are so many different types of hikes that you can find something for everybody. And also, Vorarlberg is famous for mountain biking, which I did not get to try, but I will one day. Next is experiencing the amazing art installations and architecture of Vorarlberg. This is one of the installations we came upon in the mountains in the middle of nowhere with light and sound. This was a light up map made out of silver that was across from one of the hikes that we did. One of the coolest displays of architecture is the Umgang in Bregenzerwald. When you look inside these iron poles, which are actually all over the place in 12 cities, it will give you an explanation of the architecture of different buildings in the area. The next thing you will definitely do in Vorarlberg is ride a cable car. Cable cars here come in all shapes and sizes, but one thing in common is that the view from the top will be amazing. There are cable cars from nearly every single small town in Vorarlberg, and they all go up different mountains for different views. In the summer, spring, and fall, you will find amazing views, maybe some restaurants and some hikes. In the winter, snow skiing and snowboarding. The next thing to do in Vorarlberg is to stay in a scenic boutique hotel. Vorarlberg has tons of little boutique hotels, all of which have amazing mountain views. Hotels in Vorarlberg are the perfect getaway that really makes you feel like you're out in the middle of nature, even when you're in your room. Enjoy the views from your room? Definitely try the hotel's restaurants because they're usually good and do not miss out on the hotel saunas. Last but not least, make sure to say hi to the happy cows with their cowbells. Check my blog post on what to do in Vorarlberg for more.